tear away the paranormal biases promoted in these types of shows, we see nothing more than a short person who used a light in one room, <laughs> then tried to navigate other rooms in the dark, bumping into furniture along the way. I also think there's more footage we're not seeing and most likely never will. So there you have it. Is this the greatest ghost footage ever? Or is this Absolutely. just another fake? <laughs> what do you think? I, I don't know. We don't know. I definitely don't know. What do you think? Uh, I mean, it, it sounded all good. Like, when I first watched it, I was like, okay, sure. But then the fact that it was on one of those shows, and again, <laughs> that I hadn't seen that clip anywhere else ever outside of this, like you showing it to us, like when we were watching this, that, that says a lot. They're not even it's, promoting it themselves. The video you yeah. can find of this on YouTube is like a dude like sh- crappily filming his TV with his phone or something watching the show. It's a like shitty, they aren't, shitty phone camera. They phone aren't even camera. seem to be putting this up for for scrutiny at all. But yeah. well, no. I you know I just want to say something here, just so everybody is aware that, and it's not blasting anybody. It's just solid scientific proof. Well, not even scientific. It's Hollywood it's, here. It's, right, it's, it's, it's fact. <laughs> Ben Hansen, before he did this show, he did a show called Fact or Fake, where he would take all these different oh yeah in like things and try to prove if they were real or you know all right he figured BS. it out yeah right? so yeah. he I mean, cracked it he but I mean I'm just I realize, does I make a point that was him Drea makes a good point it does help if you start start off by not using phone camera a shitty phone camera <laughs> well it's not him all right and ben hansen isn't using some shitty phone camera at, at one point it does look like he does have like a uh a phone on like a some kind of selfie stick that he's filming stuff with that was a little <laughs> questionable but they've got they hey look I, ben hansen i'm sure you got your stuff together you guys all do you're doing great out there <laughs> even though i don't know about what, doing what, are, great. what does that mean what does that even mean i don't know now i know i said initially that this was <laughs> That this was suggested by a Walmart team member, but I'm going to be honest. I forgot <laughs> the name of the show that this person suggested. This was suggested to me, and I searched for the show for a while with no luck. And that that is until I saw that our friends, friends of the show, Ted and Psychic Cindy of Paratalk Radio fame. Remember that show that I was on? Oh, right? yeah. Right? Remember oh, yeah. That's some of those clips? This forget? is Ted and Psychic Cindy. Remember this? I'm Ryan Russell, R- Russell Ryan. I said his name backwards. <laughs> yeah, a little, a little Paratalk Ryle Radio Russell. for you. That's right. Well, I had found out that Paratalk Radio, they were having a guest on named J- Jeremy, Jer- I stopped in my tracks with that one, Jeremy Leonard, the Cajun demonologist. And Jareem? They had Jareem on? It clicked to me. And they said that he was from a show called Ghosts of Morgan City. And I said, yes, this was indeed the show from the Walmart employee that I was looking for. So oh. excitedly, because this is a live radio show that comes on Monday nights on Facebook. It's like a live video thing. So excitedly, I watched the live feed of this show so I could hear what this was all about. Who is this Cajun demonologist? He's going to be on there himself. But the show started off a bit rocky. This is Paratalk Radio with the demonologist. You'll hear the beginning here. Mr. Jeremy Leonard is going to be calling in here. He is our guest this evening. He was from the Ghost of Morgan City. Um, our dear friend Mike King from the Ghost of Shepherdstown was actually on the opening episode, I believe, of that show as well. Um, we know that he's been doing his duty with losing his house not too long ago, but we will get Jeremy on here shortly. We'll be chatting with him as soon as Miss Cindy shows up. So, oops. <laughs> Better turn that Uh-oh. down, Teddy. Okay, all right. The beginning's a little wrong. Uh, Why did you and, put that in there? Cindy and Jeremy, because it's just... I'm, I'm, look, Ted, it's, poor Ted. He's he's pulling his show together. Cindy's not there yet. Jeremy isn't there yet. This is early in the show, though. No worries, all right? Cindy arrives shortly after. But our guest, Jeremy, well, he was nowhere to be found. In this next clip you're going to hear, this is about 40 minutes into this episode, and this is what's going on. Let's hear. It's... I don't know why it's bothering You know, some of the things I didn't know about Jeremy, Jeremy is also a firefighter with Louisiana. Oh, really? In Louisiana. Um, That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, He also worked as a demonologist Uh, for the past 10 years. What? I had no idea. Yep. Paranormal investigator for 14 years. He's He's also an ordained minister and an author of a book called The Dwelling. Oh, two books. Author of the book, The Dwelling, A Dark Entity. Sorry, one book. And the founder of Cajun Ministry. Interesting. That's awesome. He, his, his quote here says, I'm a people magnet and spirit magnet. They're drawn to me. Mm-hmm. It's cool, Jeremy. Call in so we can chat about it. <laughs> yeah, where is he? Um, 
<laughs> well, wow. where is he? He says he's been poked, pushed, punched, and even had a washing machine thrown at him. <laughs> okay. What is going so this on? Is, this has got to be rough. You're doing a live show with no guests, and they're reduced to just reading his bio over and over. <laughs> I don't know, in the hopes of summoning him, I guess? I don't like that they did this to Ted. I, I like Ted a lot. Do you, you believe this? Um, uh, I think that it's 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 Jeremy's fault for okay, not showing well, up. You know, you, you should have called let's... in, Russ. You should have called. Hold in on, hold on. Oh, I I'm listening. Them. Oh, Russ is present live watching this. Russ cannot believe his oh. eyes. Oh, I got a little soundboard clip from that last one. Let's hear a soundboard clip too. Uh, here, here we go. Mm, it's cool, Jeremy. Call in so we can chat about it. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're tired of reading your bio. We start Hold with on, a I gotta hear this one more time. Let's hear it again. Mm, it's cool, Jeremy. Call in so we can chat about it. <laughs> Yeah, where is he? Yeah, where is great. he? Great. Now that's the second soundboard clip of of, of theirs. That's great. Go. You know, I love I love Cindy's laugh in the beginning. Oh, it's perfect. Mm-hmm. Cool, Jeremy. Mm-hmm. Call him so we can chat about. Yeah, where is he? Yeah, where is this dude? We're almost an hour into our two-hour really, show. I do really like her voice. They're both great. I can't wait to be back on. It wasn't, but it wasn't until about an hour in. That I, I, I gave, I was like, I'm, I can't watch this forever. I want to see this Cajun demon. I'll just do So I went and found Jeremy on Twitter and I tweeted at him myself. What? I said, I said, Oh, hey, are you going to be on this show right now? Because there's lots of people You're late. waiting around for you. <laughs> oh to my which, God. To which he almost instantly replied on Twitter that he had a family emergency and he had to cancel. And <laughs> this Whoa. whole thing became, this whole thing came kind of surreal because I started watching their feed and I got to watch as Ted looked, uh, well, I'm watching him on video and he looks at his phone because Jeremy is texting him to say, yeah, I'm having a family emergency because I got called on a Twitter. And that was because I don't of know. you. Like, I, he, I don't know. He wasn't going to tell him, but it's because you messaged him. He's like, no, oh look, shit, I guess I better tell them. Look, I'm not faulting the guy, all right? An emergency is an emergency. I get it. But <laughs> Sure. I get it. But, Look, no one's I faulting the come on. It happens. But he only he only messaged about it because you messaged him. But this this just made me so curious about I'm like, who's this guy? He's ducking shows. He's got he's on I was like, who is he? You know what I found? He hmm. has a podcast. Yes. Oh there no. Is, there is a podcast called The Cajun Demonologist. Oh, and let's get a little taste of that now. Here is from the first episode of The Cajun Demonologist pod. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Thank you for tuning in to The Cajun Demonologist. I am your host, Jeremy Leonard, the Cajun Demonologist. Well, it is a wonderful day here deep in the south of the swamps of southern Louisiana. Hope you all are having a great day as well. Today, I want to talk about something that I think everyone could benefit from. We're going to talk about Intergy. Yeah, all right, make a stop. Intergy. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Intergy. I remember this. Yeah. Yeah, so but... we've listened to this podcast. I've listened to all of it. Uh, but, yes, the, the, I'm going to say this first episode, the, the music choice is, let's just say, unique. What would you think about this? Lullaby time? So relaxing. It's, so it's relaxing. It's so good. Like, yeah, it's getting honestly, you in the mood, in, in the it's vibe. It's very sensual. Yeah. Yeah. It's you... very sexy music. This it, is... I, it feels like a Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood for demons. Oh yeah, yeah. Or like I don't know, maybe spirals or cereal. You could you could cheer things up a little bit. It, it sounds know. it sounds like the end of like a PBS like kid show, like where they're like reading the you know like all the disclaimer stuff and the credits and everything. It does. Right. It sounds like like the narrator would be like, drugs. "We had a long day today, didn't we, guys?" All right. Yeah, yeah but, well, and but today's a very special episode. But this you narrator not to fuck with demons. Th- this narrator, yeah, one is messing with demons the entire time, and this plays through the entire episode. Drea can back mm-hmm. me up on this. I know she's listening. Really? I listened so, to the whole thing, and I yes. fell asleep three that, times. That music is in the background the entire time, as you're going to hear in this next clip, because this is the very end of that very same first podcast. Let's hear. Reasons why you chose to get into spiritual warfare, but you cannot <laughs> deceive the entities. They will see right through you, and they will strike you where it hurts the most. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, thank you for listening to the Cajun Demonologist. (coughs) (laughs) What the hell was that? Oh, my God, I forgot about that. 
Uh, it gets loud. And boy, way to uh, stick the landing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe that's just his sign off. I'm not going to judge it. Let's hear soundboard three. Let's hear this great sign off. Thank you for listening to the Cajun Demonologist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is he getting a hernia I check know. at the end of the podcast there? <laughs> oh, poor guy. Yeah, he had to. It's it's part of every uh, sign-off. I, that's what I thought was so... I forgot about that. It's so funny that he man, he managed to go the whole time sounding so soothing. His voice is so And calm. then we get and hit talking with... talking so practically, and then... Thank you for listening to the Cajun Demonologist. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say something in all honestly? Russ is keeping it fresh right here in season two of the Unbelievers podcast. <laughs> and look, oh, yeah. Russ is also keeping it real. Everybody keep in mind that the uh, this show has a former FBI agent and police chiefs that are uh, could probably clock in in the morning, come and beat my ass and be back where they are <laughs> within that's the same awesome. day. So maybe that's just why I'm picking on the demonologist because I don't know if I can take him. <laughs> no, I yeah. mean, honestly, yeah. Even before he did that sneeze, the way he wrapped it up with that really nice happy music that's very soothing and childlike uh, and welcoming talking about like and remember <laughs> demons are going to feed on your energy so keep your butthole tight yeah and also <laughs> I don't remember, uh, what was the clip it, sure play it thank you for listening to the Cajun Demonologist <laughs> <laughs> right. wasn't look, the one yeah. I was talking about, but that's fine. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll <laughs> defend which, which him a little bit. Which one did you want? This one? Cool, Jeremy. Come oh, wait, this one? <laughs> Guess what? I'm sold. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it has to be one of them. <laughs> well, maybe he realized that the song was a little infantile when you, you know, when you're speaking about fighting demonic spirits that are hell-bent on chaos and fulfilling Satan's will. So he changed it up to something a little more appropriate in the episodes to follow. Let's hear Ooh, that hi hat. Oh, it's gone. Mm. Good evening, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for tuning in to my podcast, The Cajun Demonologist. Mm. I am your host, Jeremy Leonard, The Cajun Demonologist. It's a pleasant day here deep in the swamps of southern Louisiana. Hope you all are doing well good as well <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's the stuff right there you got the hope you're all track. doing well as good yeah look, i know he didn't, why did he, why look, did he, he couldn't that? he couldn't stick the landing the first time now he can't stick the intro you know you can edit <laughs> these dudes you can start over i do it a million times as everyone can attest <laughs> yeah to you do i don't know right? that, that music was pretty rocking i mean that, oh, i thought he was gonna drop a, i thought he was gonna start spitting a verse it's, oh, that was yeah you're gangster. right rob it did all sound of, like that Rob, just play the beginning of that, and we're just we're gonna have to like clip that, and maybe we can do like I don't know some like unbelievable rap battles when we do when we could play the games, make them like fight each other with that. Oh, demons! <laughs> Talk about demons, 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 and women from a semen. <laughs> much like, much like the yes, great. Much yeah, you're getting it. We're gonna put that together. We'll get something going with that, but. Much like the lullaby from that first episode, this song, it plays the whole time as well. The entire podcast has that under it. But but it is an improvement, right? This is another improvement. You know, he finishes with, he's got this more like hard edge, like hip hop style you know, episode. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I don't think it's better. Well, well he play, I'll prove it again that he plays it the whole time because here's okay. the end. Here's the end of that one. But this time we get a teaser that I'm sure <laughs> will excite all of you. So, um,. I hope you all enjoyed this. Next podcast, I think we're going to just kind of step away from the spiritual warfare thing for a while. And I'm thinking about doing an episode about Phil Schneider, which is a conspiracy theorist that I happen to believe. Um, I have watched a lot of his videos, and he has some very, very interesting things. Um, Oh, yeah. Woo. Yeah. All right. All right, so he's promising some some hot Schneider action. Uh, hot Schneider action. You think he's going to talk about your brain and read a book? Yeah, you think he's going to start talking about you know what? Oh, he said it was family <laughs> friendly. You know his maybe. Mm. Yeah. Well, spoilers, because I have listened to every second of this dude's podcast, and Phil <laughs> Schneider is never mentioned again. Man, <laughs> seriously, you're doing the Lord's work for one. Like, having didn't even... to it because I barely made it through that first episode. This is a hard show to get he through. Never he never got done... to the split hot dog. The split never hot dog is the best this part of the like story. A, this was like episode three. There's more. He never, Phil Schneider is just gone. How many episodes does he have, Russ? 
I thought this show ended maybe in like October, and all of a sudden, randomly over the holidays, he dropped two episodes. Maybe I don't know, maybe oh, season shit. two. 